Gentlemen, in case you missed the Alpha M memo, my goal is pretty simple, to help you feel like a rock star. Part of feeling like a rock star is knowing that when you enter the room, you are killing it with your style. Grooming game is super strong because you say no to nose hair. And you have trimmed and pruned your man bush into a work of art. But the other part of the feeling great equation is actually taking care of your body. Being proud of your physique is one of the most incredible feelings. Now I'm not talking about needing to be shredded, ripped, striated like those self-absorbed, selfie-taken D-bags on Instagram. So here's the truth about all those shredded savages you see on Instagram, Facebook. They are absolutely no fun, zero fun to be around. They're so worried, so fixated, so focused on staying lean and looking shredded that they're miserable because they've been dieting too long. Long. They never cheat. This guy was no fun. This guy is lots of fun and I'm still reasonably lean and so I've learned some things, some tricks, some secrets over the years that I thought I'd share with you today in order to lose weight, to get lean, but to stay lean and as we say here at Alpha M, live lean. That's a concept I'm going to talk a little bit more about in this video. So today I'd like to go over how to get lean and more importantly how to stay lean without absolutely losing your mind. Tip number one, choose your calories wisely. Focus on the quality of that calorie as opposed to the quantity. Don't get hung up on counting calories. Focus on making smarter, healthier choices. The beautiful thing about the age that we live in is that pretty much any place you go you can find find the calories of what you're about to consume. A lot of times you think, oh, it's a chicken sandwich, how big? And then you look at the calories, you're like, what the fuck? It's not, it's hitting calories all over the place. Gentlemen, it's about making smarter choices. Tip number two is make fitness a part of your life every day. People ask me, they say, how many days a week do you work out? And the answer is seven. I do something, I move, I lift weights, I run, I do cardio, I go for a walk, I get active every single day. Getting up from your desk, hitting some push-ups, doing some squats, whatever you need to do to start making fitness a part of your day. Tip number three is probably the best. If there's no other tip that I can give you that will help you reduce your body fat percentage and keep the fat and weight off, it's do morning cardio in your target zone on an empty stomach, aka fasting cardio. There are so many people that get bonkers nuts over the thought of doing cardio on an empty stomach. My muscle, it's going to evaporate. Your muscle is not this precious little snowflake, all right? It doesn't go away that easy. But what does go away is your body fat stores if you do cardio on an empty stomach first thing in the day in your target zone. Now, if you have no idea what your target zone is, I did a video that will help you calculate it and figure out why you need to be there that's listed in the description. Tip number four is cut back on the booze. That, they, whoa, uh, don't, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just letting you know that that is one of the biggest things that I have seen um, from actually cutting back on the drinking is that my body fat I don't have to work as hard in order to keep it low when I was drinking a lot more It was a lot more challenging for me to maintain a low body fat percentage alcohol is crazy caloric Another thing when you drink you actually lose your inhibitions and you eat more and so it's sort of a recipe for body fat disaster Tip number five is monitor your progress now some people live and die by the number on the scale every day They get up up, they weigh themselves and that is setting the tone for the rest of their day and that is the absolute wrong way to look at your weight it's all about body fat percentage and lean muscle mass one thing that I would recommend each and every one of you do is go out and have your body fat tested if you know a trainer that actually has calipers and knows how to use them that's a great option another thing that I use is actually a scale that I got from the company Vita Goods I got this scale from the company Vita Goods you guys have heard about them they're a sponsor of the Alpha M project, I use their face spinning scrubbing brush. Um, they have a body fat testing scale that not only checks your body fat percentage, it checks and measures your lean muscle mass, your water weight, like all sorts of crazy stuff. This is the best one that I've ever used. It's the most accurate. Now, something that you need to know about the accuracy of these scales is that you need to be consistent when checking in order to get accurate results. All right, so if you're weighing yourself at different times during the day, this is absolutely wrong. If you're more hydrated or less hydrated, this is going to 
to be a factor in the accuracy, you want to be as consistent as possible when you use one of these products. This one specifically, like I said, is incredible and it's a great way to measure and gauge your progress and what's happening. There's a link down below if you want to check one out. They're normally 125 bucks, but they're giving them to you for 50 if you want one. The scale is a great tool just to measure your progress and one of the things that happens when you actually see progress being made is that it helps you go further and if you're somebody who has fallen off the wagon before I would definitely recommend having some type of structured system in place in order to measure your results and tip number six gentlemen is create new habits if you want to see your confidence skyrocket like nothing else start taking care of your body not just for a day not just for a week do it consistently. You don't need six pack abs. You don't need to be 6% body fat. You don't need a 30 inch waist. What you need to do is take care of yourself physically. You don't need to go nuts. You just need to do a little bit here and there, not here and there, every day. Do something to take care of yourself. There is nothing that has impacted my confidence more than fitness, taking care of myself, and actively, because it takes work, keeping my body fat reasonably low. You do these six tips, and then come at me, bro, as they say, somebody says, I don't, and let me know how incredible you really do feel. You'll feel like a rock star. <coughs> that hurts.